Hey everyone and welcome back to another 7.2 related video. Today though we will be talking about flying. Now we're not really talking about flying within the context of um, of Legion or the fact that it's coming in 7.2. We're going to be talking about actually using flying well in game design because one thing that a lot of players felt is that um, you know say an expansion like Warlords of Draenor it was clearly designed for uh, designed for ground uh, sort of gameplay but then when they released flying it was kind of like they flipped a switch and there was no content in that expansion which really made flying feel cool other than the fact you could get from x to y a little bit faster now one expansion that is very interesting in this regard is actually wrath of the lich king and it's my primary sort of thing that i'll be talking about here when it comes to just thinking over flying game design and how uh, it can be used so wrath of the lich king was the first expansion the blizzard did after uh, flying was actually a part of the game, which meant the North Round is somewhere where players expected that they would be able to fly. Now, I think it was, oh damn, was it level 77? Well, yeah, that I think that's when you could first fly. And that was quite interesting at the time because 77 is roughly when you would be going into either Ice Crown Glacier or into the Storm Peaks. Now, these are very interesting zones and they're often thought to be quite iconic zones because of their massive sense of scale. The Storm Peaks had a lot of verticality to it. You were doing a lot of quest content on sort of, you know, different levels on the uh, on the Y-axis, which was pretty cool, and it did make it feel like you were this tiny little dot of a thing in this absolutely ginormous zone. And then when we moved on to, um, on to, uh, fact, Ice Crown Glacier, uh, the way that it was designed very much did surround a flying mount. And there were times when being able to do a flying mount actually meant that those zones, it kind of added to those zones, made them feel better. Uh, take the mob density at the uh, the ground floor of Ice Crown Glacier, like you, if you were running around there, you'd just be killed. But the strength of that is it really did sort of reinforce what that zone was supposed to feel like. And then also in Ice Crown Citadel, one of your main quest hubs was on a flying, um, you know, like your flying barge thing. So this expansion generally, I, I believe anyway, was thought to have done a pretty good job of how it dealt with flying because... Uh, you know, you're able to do all those things. Of course, it was a bit strange, you know, if you were accidentally to fly through Wintergrasp during the siege, you would just be dismounted. That was odd, but I, you know, it was, a, I think, a problem unique to how that expansion was actually being done. Um, but it does go to show that, you know, verticality is something that is kind of unlocked once you have a flying mount. And if you are going to be flying, it probably makes sense to make use of that verticality in the design of the game. So zooming on ahead into patch 7.2, when we look at the Broken Isles, first of all, there are, you know, sometimes when flying will just be very convenient. So, uh, you know, going down to Suramar from High Mountain, going to the, you know, going to High Mountain without having to find uh, the path uh, up the mountain. There are just some examples, going to the Darbrul or whatever it's called, um, Brawl World Quest. There's all this stuff which will be convenient with flying, but I guess what I'm interested in is, can they actually use flying as a as a good thing in the game design to make the gameplay better, not just to make it faster, which is what uh, flying would currently do. Now, of course, with the Legion expansion, yeah, players will be getting flying, but the Legion also got flying. They've got these big bloody spaceships. That's an example of something which I think could be used along with players uh, getting flying themselves to create some new gameplay and also create some new areas for players to actually play the game. So we've got all these different spaceships that the Legion have, um, I think it would be kind of cool if they were roaming around zones, just roaming around the place in the sky, and they could be a place the players could go to on their flying bounce. And that would be an example where the actual, like, the Y-axis matters, right, with flying, which I think is a, is a cool part of game design. I think it harkens back to something like the Storm Peaks, where having to travel all the way up to the, the tip of a mountain for a quest or for something like that, uh, really reinforce the the feeling of scale with that zone. Well, if there were a few different types of Legion spaceship, they could be boarded by players using their flying mounts, and that was just a really cool gameplay system that existed on, I say on top of the world content, I guess I mean that figuratively and literally, but if that was the case, I think that would be really cool indeed. Currently, however, how are Blizzard uh, doing these spaceships? Well, they're a, right now they're a solo scenario in the PTR, I hope they uh, become a multiplayer scenario, but currently they're a solo scenario and an NPC flies you up to the spaceship and it doesn't really feel like you've went to a spaceship because you're not flying there yourself. You're just sort of being taken on a taxi ride up there. So I think it would have been a lot cooler if instead of those spaceships just being a scenario that you're loaded into, I think it would have been far cooler that they're just a part of the world that you can fly to on your flying mount. And that would be a, just a case where flying mounts would actually be adding a new type of gameplay and a, sort of a new level of, you know, dimension or whatever uh, to um, the sort of the world. 
Now, those are just one example. Now, there's things like uh, I've seen people suggest, like having actual, like, mounted combat on flying mounts and stuff like that. I don't really think that's a great idea. People have also talked about, you know, using, say, cannons that can knock you off your flying mount, and that is kind of cool in theory, but it doesn't really work in practice because of how World of Warcraft is. It's an MMO, you know, lag can be a little bit of a problem with mechanics like that. But overall, my, my thought here is just, you know, we've got this whole, we've got all this space above us. We can now go into that space. But the further we go up, there's just less and less stuff. I mean, hell, let's just scrap the idea of space stations. How about just big chunks of land from Argus get like teleported in above the Broken Isles and there's like a new mini zone that, you know, is there for like two or three hours that every once in a while you can just fly up to and there's stuff to do on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that the content that's on one of these spaceships or on one of these flying chunks of land has to be something completely crazy and new. All I'm saying is that if you're adding flying to a patch, I think it would be a really cool opportunity that you could then add some content that involves verticality in an interesting and meaningful way um, for players to do. So that's just it. What I would like to throw to you guys, though, is what sort of uses do you think flying could have for gameplay that are not purely to do with travel time? How, could, how do you think flying could actually enhance the fun of the game or allow us to have new gameplay mechanics? Things like that. Really keen to hear what everyone's ideas are and perhaps for some reason a WoW dev will see this and think, ah yes, YouTube comments, I'll read them. Maybe it'll happen. But anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.